It is one of the defining images in college football. The Michigan Wolverines charging down the tunnel, the big house, and rising to meet that massive Go Blue banner. Time now for a dose of tradition, sponsored by Dos Equis. You know, don't trip, don't trip. Make sure you touch it. This is Michigan. The Go Blue banner, it happened organically. In 1962, the Wolverines were one in five. The hockey coach's wife felt sorry for the team, so she puts together a blue banner. I think this is a glorified bed sheet, and it was a bed sheet, and she sewed a big block M on it. The players touch it, and they have their second win of the season, and before you know it, the thing has got a life of its own. There they come, the maize and blue, underneath the big full blue sign. It's the seniors in front, and the freshmen are in the back. And once that thing takes off, you get sucked out with the, from that energy. When the wolves come onto the field, you'll hear a roar that will knock pine cones out of trees 50 miles away. The roar of 110, 112,000 people. And the colors, all the different colors. You know there's no light, lasers. You cherish those, those opportunities. A tradition like no other in college football doesn't get any better than this. Running out on that field, you know, doing whatever, windmill or you dunk in between the legs, whatever you want to do, it's like an extra boost of adrenaline after you touch that. You can actually physically feel the, uh, must be the sound waves, because they, they hit you, they, they reverberate around. And listen to this crap. I know guys who came to Michigan for one of two reasons, the winged helmets and that damn banner. And touching that banner is everything. It just brings us the joy, just knowing that we're going to be on that field, we're going to war. I'm doing it for, for Michigan. That's why I love playing at the University of Michigan, is you have that rich tradition of touching that banner every single home game. There's nothing like it.